She was my neighbor. She was our friend. And when I got pregnant with Jesse, the first thing crossed my mind to do was get Miss Coley to deliver my baby. She would come in the morning time and bathe that baby and give me a bath. And if I hadn't ate that morning, we had a wood stove. She'd go in there and make that fire and I'd fish my breakfast. She was just really a very fine lady. I want you to meet Mrs. Mary Cooley, a midwife who lives in Albany, Georgia. This is a story of how she helps people. Mary Frances Hill was born August 15, 1900 in Baker County, Georgia. She was the youngest child and the surviving twin of Martha, who died at birth. Her aunts and uncles raised her after she lost her parents at a very young age. She married carpenter Ashley Coley and moved her family to Albany in 1930. It was after this move that she became interested in midwifery and was trained by Alabama midwife Annie Lee Logan in the apprentice tradition. She delivered babies all around the area, about 3,000 plus babies. Uh, I'm one of those babies, by the way. <laughs> Over 30 years, Mary Coley delivered more than 3,000 babies in Doherty, Lee, Mitchell, and Worth counties. She was known for her tireless work ethic and her willingness to serve both black and white mothers in the segregated South. The racial attitudes in Georgia, in this part of Georgia now, are much different than they were even 25 years ago. When I first uh, went to nursing school over 40 years ago, white physicians did not deliver black babies as a general rule, and black physicians didn't deliver white babies if the other physician were available. She didn't care if I was white or if I was black or whatever. She was doing just as much for me as she would have been if it had been a black lady. Didn't matter to her, and it did not matter to me. I guess you could call it a trait to learn the blacks in this area were not really welcome in, in a hospital setting. And uh, they weren't refused, but they were not welcome. So there were a lot of midwives, and they did an excellent job. They went out and delivered babies door to door, so to speak. This is something that black women, of course, before it became professionalized, and before medical departments got involved in it, black women were delivering black babies for millennia. In such a scary time, I know people probably question all the time, why? You know, why would you be nice to someone that's not nice to you? Why would you compromise your family to go spend two, three days with another family? Her care of new families extended beyond the delivery of the baby. She would visit for days after the birth to help in cooking, cleaning, and washing clothes and she organized the registration of forms and certificates to be filed with the county health office. She believed her work was a spiritual calling, and she let nothing keep her from mothers who needed her. Sometimes my grandmother would be gone for a whole week delivering babies. She wouldn't just deliver your baby and say, here's your baby, you enjoy. She would stay, you couldn't get, you couldn't get out the bed, she would wash and clean and help, you know, help that family. She was a step-in mom. And she did that for people that was not nice to her. That's hard. Mary Coley was recognized by more than her community for the work she did. In 1952, documentarian George Stoney filmed All My Babies, a movie produced by the Georgia Health Department as an instructional training film. After scouting around and looking around the area, he selected my grandmother. The cameras followed Miss Mary for four months recording the preparation and delivery in rural conditions in the Albany area. The film is not only a portrait of Mary, but also a historical record of the actual living conditions of her patients. The center part of that film is Mary Cole. It's really her story and how she trains black midwives and works with them, and how she operated as a black midwife herself. She walked to do those deliveries. When you're talking five to 10 miles, that's a lot of walking to make a delivery. It cost me $25. She charged five, $5 to deliver a baby, and so I don't think we gave her but two. We still owe her grandchildren three more. <laughs> In 2002, the film was selected by the Library of Congress for placement on the National Film Registry as a culturally, historically, and artistically significant work.
It has been used as a tool for midwife training and as an example of early documentary style filming. In 2007, George Stoney returned to Georgia to film a reunion of 150 babies delivered by Mary, all grown up with stories of their own. There's people in Albany now that were delivered by Mary Coley, and I'm sure they're looking and they're thinking, hey, that lady delivered me, thanking that lady. Her legacy lives on in several ways. It lives on in those children that she birthed. I try to do things that make a difference, just like Mary Coley did, and the women before her and the women after her. She's a basis for what we all should aspire to be.